The original 2D pixel art style of Pokemon just has something like so magical to it. I can't really explain it, but there's something amazing about it. And we haven't really seen that style in many, many years. So will they ever go back to that OG art style? So we've seen the slow transition, I'd say, to like the 3D open world style gameplay of Pokemon games over the course of about like nine-ish years, if you really think about it, because I'd say it starts off with X and Y. Like I think X and Y is the first leap towards that 3D style, which makes sense because, you know, the 3DS just came out and the hardware was improved compared to, you know, the previous DS or DSi and everything. So hardware got better and the art style became a little bit more modern i guess i'll say rather than like the pixelated 2d art style and ever since then i think like every pokemon release just kind of had a slow gradual change to become more and more 3d up until you know the switch came out where the hardware was improved from the 3ds of course which makes sense brand new console better hardware and we could see you know with pokemon let's go pikachu and eevee that was like a 3D version of a linear style game, I guess I'll call it. And then up until Legends Arceus or Scarlet and Violet where it's fully open world. And then Sword and Shield, I believe, had like some parts that were like 3D where you can move the camera around wherever you want. And then some of it was like you couldn't move the camera around. Also guys, once I hit 10,000 subscribers, I'm giving away a $20 Nintendo eShop gift card. And all you have to do to enter that giveaway is subscribe to the channel, leave a like down below, and comment down below letting me know you want to be in the giveaway, and then just stay tuned for future videos. And then once I actually hit 10,000 subs, I'll be announcing that giveaway winner. I'm honestly a little indecisive of my opinion on if I like 2D or 3D Pokemon games, but because like there's great things to say about both, right? But I feel like the open world Pokemon games feel more immersive, like I'm actually in that world, but the 2D art style pixel games just are so iconic and there's something so amazing about those games. The sprites look so good and in my opinion, the map actually feels more alive than the 3D art style, which is kind of crazy to say because you'd, you'd think that like 3D Pokemon games would actually feel more alive than a 2D game, but the 3D games just, I don't know, every NPC just feels so too much like an NPC if that makes sense. It's safe to say that the biggest issue with the new Pokemon games is that they are just so incredibly laggy and for some reason they limited the capability of these games. I mean, Pokemon is the largest franchise on the planet, so you would think that they could afford to make a better open world game without all these lag spikes and frame rate issues and stuff because I mean like look at Zelda, Tears of the Kingdom or Breath of the Wild. I know this is like the game that everyone compares the open world Pokemon games to, but it makes sense because these Zelda games are amazing open world games on the Switch, which is the same exact hardware as Scarlet Violet, whatever. These Zelda games feel really alive. Like everything looks and feels great in these games. So there's not frame rate issues, so it makes you wonder, like, why can't Scarlet and Violet be like this? I feel like they mastered the 2D pixel art style with Gen 5 because they had all the prior, uh, like, Game Boy and DS games that they made with the 2D pixel art style. And then by the time they reached Gen 5, which, you know, which is years and years of different game development, which kind of makes sense because by the time they hit Gen 5, I just feel like the colors look great, the sprites look amazing, the map is just so good. I just really enjoy Gen 5. And that's just a small reason of why like Gen 5 is my favorite gen of Pokemon games. So I get that they've been developing 3D Pokemon games for some time now, but like the open world 3D Pokemon games is, is pretty new to them. So I feel like eventually they're they're gonna hit a point where they master that, I, I hope. I'm staying hopeful. And I'm pretty sure I saw something in the past that said like, Pokemon, you know, Game Freak, whatever, they always wanted to have a 3D open world game for a Pokemon game, but they could never actually do it because the hardware was never there. Technology just wasn't there yet, but now it is, and I think they're just so used to the 2D art style, and they're just trying something new, and the Switch has been, like, the biggest experimental source of, like, Pokemon games. Like, every single Pokemon game on the Switch is just, is just a different 3D art style, pretty much. It's kind of weird, though, because... Like, Scarlet and Violet, they were super fun games to play. Well, I actually only played Violet, but, like, it was a really fun game to play. I love playing Pokemon Violet, but the overall bugs, constant frame rate drop, you know, glitches happening kind of affected my overall view of the game. Like, I love being able to walk around. I love being able to see the Pokemon out in the overworld or whatever it's called, just walking around. It's just that those random issues just never go away. Like, it's a constant issue when you're playing these games. 
just never goes away. I'm sure that Nintendo and Game Freak know that fans obviously love the 2D pixel art style, and they obviously know the issues with Scarlet and Violet, which is kind of weird why Scarlet and Violet had issues, because Legends Arceus, I don't remember ever running into, like, any glitches, you know, maybe a few here and there, but the frame rate was fine, you know, it was a great game, I love Legends Arceus. So I definitely think that it's actually possible for them to somehow bring the 2D pixel art style back for a game or two or something. I don't think that they're ever going to completely revert back to that 2D art style. Like, I don't think they're ever going to make every single Pokemon release the 2D pixel art style. Like, I don't think it's crazy to say that we'll see that 2D art style again. Like, something I thought of is, like, what if in a future Pokemon game there's a feature where somehow you can play it in a 2D pixel art style or, like, some type of legendary Pokemon sends you to, like, this alternate dimension where you're in the 2D art style for a little bit Kind of like how Mario Odyssey, I'm pretty sure that there was a level where it felt like an OG Mario game for a short time. I think something like that would be kind of cool. Hopefully, maybe they'll just release an entire game like the pixel art style. And if we never see a 2D pixel Pokemon game come out again, at least we have all the original games to go back and play. You know, it's not like they're going to go anywhere. The unfortunate side is that the OG Pokemon games are so expensive. Like Black and White 2, I think are the most expensive, maybe alongside Heart Gold and Soul Silver. Those are like so expensive. They're like $150 or something like that. Black and White are pushing pushing $100 sometimes. I think they're about $80. But it's just as unfortunate because like I personally have never actually played Black and White 2, but I really really want to. But I just I don't really want to spend that much money, you know? Maybe one day I'll I'll splurge, but for now, I'm going to wait till hopefully the price drops, but they might not. And I think part of the reason why they're so expensive is because those games are just great. Like, I don't think anyone complains about Gen 1 through 5. Like, there's nothing really bad about those games. Of course, every game has their issues at some point. Like, there's some point in that game where there's a little bug or something. But overall, those games are just amazing compared to almost all of the Switch Pokemon games where people can have a whole list of complaints. But then at the same time, they're doing something right, like Nintendo, Game Freak, Pokemon Company, they're doing something right because Scarlet and Violet have sold insane numbers. Like, they've sold a ton of copies of those games. So, like, they're doing something right, but they're also, I don't know, there's just, there's a whole lot to it. I think it's gonna take time for them to master a 3D Pokemon game. I really genuinely do have faith and have a feeling that it's gonna happen eventually where we get, like, a thoroughly built 3D open world Pokemon game that's just like jaw dropping. One day, maybe it's going to be on the next console where hardware is drastically improved. The Switch, you know, like I said earlier, just been so experimental for every Pokemon game. So I think they're just messing around with 3D art styles, what to do, what not to do, which is kind of unfortunate because you would hope every single Pokemon game would be an amazing release. Unfortunately, that's not the exact case. I still enjoy every Pokemon game. Let me get this straight too. Like, I love all Pokemon games. Like, I'm not complaining about the games. I'm trying not to complain, at least. But there's just something about the OG games that's just special compared to the newer games. See, even though Scarlet and Violet had their issues, right? They have a whole list of issues. I'd still recommend them to people to play because my playthrough of Scarlet and Violet was so enjoyable. I thought the games were so fun. So if they could continue to go down that route and then just make the bugs and glitches and maybe the world maybe a little bit more alive, I guess. Maybe the NPCs cannot be such NPCs, if you know what I'm saying. Hopefully, they do that in the future. But let me know what you guys think. What do you prefer, 3D or 2D pixel art style Pokemon games? Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to enter that giveaway. And I'll see you guys in the next video.